Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to withdraw money from PayPal into your South African bank account. So this is mostly for South Africans as I am based in South Africa and I've used this service before. So you are going to Google Elk Funds as you can see here, up here, right? You Google that, you, it's going to appear on, like, it's going to be the first to appear. You're going to open it. It's elkfunds.com. So it allows you to send, receive, and withdraw money straight into your bank account. So it does have, we just want to, re like, take a little uh, tour. On their website so it says what you can do with elk funds you can send money to friends and family instant they must have an elk funds account okay so that's what happens in in most cases like if we are both using the same bank then you know the the the, the payment is going to be instant so number two it says add funds to the account with your card Bitcoin or PayPal and you can also receive money from anyone around the world that's what they say and you can withdraw PayPal money straight to your bank account and you can also withdraw Bitcoins straight to your bank account or you can use Elf, Elk Funds to receive payments from customers so when you go down uh, you can see a list of payment options. We have about one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, form of like different types of form of payments. That that is awesome. That's really awesome. So in South Africa, we have our major banks and they are listed here as you can see they say you can withdraw to any of these banks so whether you're using APSA, African Bank, Kepitech, Bitvest Bank, FNB, Discovery Bank, Standard Bank, Net Bank, Time Bank and Excess Bank so this one is Mokoro Bank I'm pretty sure you are familiar with it and we we are now going to head to the sign up process so i have withdrawn many i think it's been now four to five months i had a problem with my fnb i didn't have my card and you don't if you are an SA and you, you probably know how difficult it is, like especially if you are, if you lost your card and you don't remember your credentials, there's no way. You just need to go back to your uh, your branch and request a new card and then you can start afresh and try and try and try to recover your credentials and yeah, so that's the problem I had and I didn't have time at that time, so I just signed up with Elk Funds and I withdrew my money. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to um, how to do the transaction because I remember I came across a uh, it was a huge problem for me. So what you, what they do is okay, you're going to insert your names here, your email, your phone number, username and password, right? And then once you are logged in, they will send you an OTP, I think, in your in your email. And you'll have to come back here and insert that. So don't forget, just in case you you you, you decide to like register with them now, there's there's a part where they're gonna ask for an OTP. So you'll need to quickly like go to your email and then come back to the website. Okay. I'm going to look under the fix 
I mean their their fee structure and this is what they have what they do is they charge five percent when you are withdrawing via or through EFT and if you are withdrawing I mean like Bitcoin they charge 50 rents okay so I think with Bitcoin it doesn't matter how much they they charge 50 rents that's the that's the set the, the fee that they take so here when you want to deposit they they charge five percent for Bitcoin and the the deposit is is instant and also with PayPal it's the same thing okay so they say it's five percent plus the USD exchange rate included okay and with card top up I think with that being said I I, I think they mean like when you're using your bank card I, I think that's what they mean okay so it's very important to read do not take my my word for it uh in most of my videos i talk about the things that i've used before things that i've tried and you know it becomes really easy for for the next person to to also try out the product or service because they heard it from someone who has used the product before so i'm going to head to my my paypal account and i just want to show you that i did use elk funds before um i'm not too sure uh what my satisfaction is but i'd say it was a three out of five simply because okay we're going to go to our activities simply because they kind of charged me a lot <laughs> that's what i would say five percent is too much okay so i'm here under my activities and we are going to look for elk fans. I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. Oh, all right. So we are going to select the date. And I think it was last year. Yes, it was. Okay. We have, so that's the money I've received, whatever, whatever. And yes, I did use Elk Funds last year. And I thought it was four months ago. Your time really flies. So this was in July 2021. And I withdrew $37.88. And I think I received something like, something like i don't know let's see let's see if we can calculate that 37 dollars 88 times okay we'll say 15 rands so it, it was around 568 rands and 20 cents so we are going to minus five percent no man I doubt it. The fees that I viewed, it was, what? It was 5% plus the exchange rate. Yeah, but I think I received something like 300. I won't lie to you. What I got was somewhere here. And I was like, no way. They take so much. Yeah, I was really not happy. But just in case you are a person who has less patience and F&B is giving you runarounds and giving you problems, yes, you can opt for elk funds. I think I also, I know about three other websites that you can use to exchange your PayPal dollars. I really think so and that is just about it guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you have like any if you have any questions or 
whatever you may want to ask please or maybe you have suggestions please leave your comment on the comment section below and yeah we will see you in the next video